डैम सिंपल हार्मोनिक मोशन वेन द मोशन ऑफ एन ऑसोलेटर इज रिड्यूस बाय एन एक्सटर्नल फोर्स देन दैट मोशन इज नोन एज डैम्ड इन अदर वर्ड्स वेन एन ऑसोलेशन इज डैम्ड देन इट्स मोशन इज रिड्यूस बाय द अपोजिंग फोर्सेज सच एज एयर और एनी अदर रेसिस्टिव फोर्स विच डिसिपेट द एनर्जी ऑफ द ऑसोलेटर इवन दो द मोशन इज डैम इट्स स्टिल अ पीरियडिक मोशन In other words, we can say that if we let a simple pendulum move or oscillate, or if we consider a spring and let the spring oscillate or do the periodic motion, then after some time, the pendulum or I should say the spring will stop. This simply means that when the energy of the simple pendulum or the spring dissipates, then they stop moving. and they end up staying at the equilibrium position but they still do a periodic motion which is basically a simple harmonic motion so let's consider an example so here is the example as you can see this is my x axis and i have a container with liquid in that and let the mass m is placed on a vein and that mass is connected with a spring of a spring constant k then we can write let the liquid is exerting a damping force f which is proportional to the velocity v of the vein and the block attached to it then the force acting along the x axis is given as f is equal to negative v v so basically if we attach a body of mass m with a vein and a spring and the spring is moving due to which the body is also moving then there will be a force that force is acting along the x axis and that force is basically f is equal to negative b v where b is known as the damping constant which depends on both vein and the liquid its si unit is kilogram per second the negative sign indicates that the force is acting opposite to the motion so basically there is a liquid and there is a spring and there is a motion in this vein with a mass m then the damping force is acting opposite to the motion of the body and that's why we have a negative sign over here which is f is equal to negative b v similarly we can find the force acting on the block due to the spring is given as f is equal to negative kx now let's consider the newton's second law of motion and if we do that we will write fx is equal to max the reason why we are taking the x component of force and x component of acceleration because the whole system is moving along the x direction and if we do that we can write negative bv minus kx is equal to mass times acceleration because we are considering the x component so the acceleration is also the x component of acceleration which is a now let's substitute the velocity as dx over dt and acceleration a as d2x over dt square in this equation which is basically a differential equation then we have mass times d2 x over dt square this is basically the acceleration plus b times dx over dt this is basically the velocity plus kx is equal to 0 and the reason why we got this equation because we are taking b v and kx on the other side and if we do that everything will be on one side and on the other side we will have 0 and that's how we get this equation after substituting velocity as dx over dt and acceleration as d2x over dt square on that equation which is basically this equation now let the solution of the differential equation is given as which is basically x is equal to a e to the power negative bt over 2m cosine omega dash t plus 5 where a is the amplitude and omega dash is the angular frequency of the damped oscillator and the angular frequency omega dash is given as omega dash is equal to square root of k over m minus 
b square over 4m square and this is basically the angular frequency of the damped oscillator now the damped energy of the oscillator is given as et is equal to 1 over 2 k a square e to the power negative bt over m now let's try to understand what kind of graph or the picture will we get for the damped simple harmonic motion and if we follow all the instructions and all the rules for the damped simple harmonic motion we will get this kind of graph or the curve where you can see the amplitude is decreasing and at the end when the whole energy or I should say all the energy of the simple harmonic motion particle is dissipated then the body will stop but still it's a periodic motion with an amplitude and this is how we will define the damned simple harmonic motion.